Hey guys, this is TJ Lowerman, a.k.a. That Sports Gamer, coming at you live from That Sports Gamer headquarters. Uh, I recently did a post on UnderTheCode.com talking about the top five teams you should use online in MLB 13, the show. Uh, I just wanted to break down that list into a little more depth for you. Uh, so we're going to start it off with number five, the Toronto Blue Jays. It didn't transition. There we go. All right. So, Toronto Blue Jays. Let's talk about them for a minute, shall we? Obviously, we'll kick it off with the starting pitching. Uh, Ari Dickey is a 95. He's sick. Josh Johnson's a 92. Probably not as sick. Uh, but, if you're going to pitch online, most likely you're going to use Ari Dickey because his knuckleball is ridiculous. Uh, the best luck I've actually had with his knuckleball is just leaving the pitch in the center of the plate and letting it do its thing to the corners. Uh, but also, you could use Josh Johnson in an online game if you're looking for a power pitcher kind of thing. Mark Burley is a nice little crafty lefty to use every once in a while. Uh, the bullpen, on the other hand, is kind of whack. Uh, your only real lefty that you're going to use is Darren Oliver. Uh, this dude, I don't even know who he is. Let's see, he's got splitter, slider, you know, he's alright. Most likely you didn't give it to Sergio Santos in the 8th. Uh, he's got a pretty wicked slider. I remember using him in uh, Diamond Dynasty last year, and he was pretty nasty. Uh, Casey Jansen is a quality closer with five pitches. I mean, how many closers are you going to find with five pitchers? Uh, so, yeah, that is their pitching rotation. Highly recommend using R.A. Dickey online. You're going to frustrate a lot of people, and that's kind of what you want to do to get a win. Uh, let's move on to their lineup. Look at this. Melky Cabrera... I don't know if you see this. Jose Reyes is an 85-84 contact. That is nasty. He's going to get on base, and he flies. So you're going to beat out anything to the left side of the infield pretty much. Melky Cabrera is also one of the best contact hitters in the game. And followed by that, you got Jose Batista and Edwin Encarnacion, who also have way sick power numbers. Look at this. Power numbers versus a righty for Jose Batista is a 99 and an 89 for Edwin Encarnacion. You're just going to hit home runs with these guys. Rest of the guys are alright. Brett Lowry, pretty good third baseman. Uh, JP Aaron Sebia. I wonder what his uh, arm strength is. 72. He's going to gun out some runners for you. Emilio Bonifacio is a way good all-around guy with not much power, but he's going to fly around the bases for you. Uh, let's see. The number four team that I put on the list is the Los Angeles Dodgers. So let me pull them up real quick for you. Uh, again, we'll start with the pitching rotation. Clayton Kershaw, Zach Greinke, both sick. Uh, if you want a little thing that I would recommend doing, because I am not sure. I think Josh Beck is going to be like three or four starter. But you could probably make an excuse to put him in the bullpen. And then that gives you a sick righty in the pen. Uh, just in case you get into trouble where you're going to need some innings. Uh, Belisario is pretty decent. Take a look at his pitches. I mean, he's got a nasty sinker, a little bit of a slider. Uh, JP Howell is pretty legit, even though he's only a 71. Doesn't even have a fastball. Come on, guys. That's pretty ill nasty if you don't have the fastball. Uh, Jansen, I think he had like 25 saves last year, so he is a great setup man, and Brandon Lee coming over to close is also going to be nasty. Going to keep everything down. You're going to throw a lot of hard stuff to these guys. Uh, not the best bullpen, but they can get you through a couple innings if you're going to need it. Uh, let's go to the lineup. Look at this. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, Carl Crawford is way good in left field. Also, way fast. Look at that. 99 speed. 92 fielding. Dude, if there's a ball hit to left field, it's getting caught. Uh, real good contact numbers versus righties. Uh, against lefties, not so hot. But then you got Matt Kemp, who's just a beast with 97 contact versus lefties. What's all that? Look at his out. Look at this. Fielding, 90, 89. Arm strength, an 86. I mean, nobody's running on this guy. Adrian Gonzalez, you throw a pitch, he'll probably hit it. Uh, Hanley Ramirez is way good. Kind of injured right now, uh, which sucks for him. But they got Luis Cruz, who's pretty sweet at third base. Also, when they get the new roster update, uh, Hanley Ramirez is probably going to be injured. So that's not going to be good. Hopefully they just put him on your bench so you can use him online. Uh, and they also have a guy in the minor leagues. What is his name? Let me pull it up. Uh, Yasiel Puig. Uh, when he gets up, he should be pretty nasty, and you probably put him at short. 
uh, and Luis Cruz at, uh, not my bad. Probably going to put Hanley at third, Yasiel Puig at short, and then you're going to have Luis Cruz off the bench, which is going to make you a little stronger. Uh, rest of the dudes, all serviceable, but look at this. Everybody, you got 780 and above, and two, one of those dudes is a 99. Obviously, pretty sick team. Uh, number three, we're going to go to a Washington. Take a look at the Nationals. Uh, pitching rotation. Look at this. Look at this rotation. This is ridiculous. This shouldn't even be fair. Really? Really, this is ridiculous. Uh, Strasburg has four great pitches. I mean, if you're going to face a team with lefties, you might want to go with Gio Gonzalez, who has pretty much the exact same pitches, except he has a 12-6 to curveball, and Strasburg only has a regular one. Both nasty, both a lot of Ks, both throw hard. I mean, look at this. you got Jordan Zimmerman in 89, Dan Harron in 90. That's just two extra guys. Uh, no real lefty in the bullpen. Zach Duke's more of a long reliever. But uh, Craig Stamen's all right. Tyler Clippard and Drew Storen both could probably be closers. And Rafael Soriano's a pretty legit closer. Look at this. Let me just show you. Look at this. Hits per nine and Ks per nine. I mean, you bring in Tyler Clippard, the Yankee Clippard, you're going to be good. So you can easily get through the 7th, 8th, and ninth using these three guys. But, in theory, Steven Strasburg, look at that, 89 stamina for Gio Gonzalez. Strasburg and Gio Gonzalez will probably get you through 7 or 8. Uh, to the lineups, look at this. I don't know if they have, I don't think they have a better lineup than the Dodgers, but their pitching makes them better than the Dodgers, but, or at least in my mind, but look at this. You got Bryce Harper, Brian Zimmerman, LaRoche, Jason Wirth. These guys are all going to rip right through the middle of the lineup. Ian Desmond. Look at this. A shortstop with these kind of numbers. That's pretty legit. Uh, Roger Bernardina. What is this with the DH? Let me see the no DH lineup. I mean, Kurt Suzuki is one of those closet legit guys. Look at this. This is all 99, 80, uh, 80 plus, 80 plus, 80 plus, 80 plus, 91, 87. I mean, it's a pretty legit lineup top to bottom. They're all pretty fast. All great contact hitters. Uh, and you get a good mix of lefty-righty, lefty-righty through the lineup. Uh, number two on the list is the Detroit Tigers. Now, starting with pitching rotation, obviously Doug Fister, Max Scherzer, Angel Sanchez, and Priscilla, all great guys. Guess what? If you're playing online, using Justin Verlander, you're going to throw the heat. Finally, they gave him a sweet selection of pitches. That 12-6 curveball is pretty sick. Slider is good just to throw them off, but two fastballs that are going to be popping in the high 90s. Uh, bullpen, funny because they don't even have the guy they wanted to be their closer in this game yet. He got sent back down to Triple A, uh, Bruce Rondon. Uh, when he comes up, you're going to have about five guys that throw legitimate gas. I mean, Verlander has a 99 stamina. You could literally pitch every game with him, but if you don't want to... Uh, Al Albuquerque, Octavio Dotel, Jacqueline Benoit, all these guys, Phil Coke, they can all close. You get multiple lefties in the pen. I mean, this is... If you're just playing one game, this is probably the best pitching rotation I would want. Uh, looking at their lineups, let's not even joke. They got two of the best players in the world. Miguel Cabrera and Prince Fielder. Victor Martinez coming off his injury from last year. Austin Jackson. Dude, this team is stacked. Torrey Hunter... Uh, let's see, Alex Villa. The only problem is if you play in an NL park, how do you decide who's going to catch? Because Villa is sick, but also, then you have Victor Martinez on the bench. And Victor Martinez is a switch hitter. Uh, this is one of those things I like to talk about. Back in 2000, late 2004, early 2005, me and my uh, wife's family went out to Arizona. And my brother-in-law brought his Xbox and we were playing MVP... 2004. Let me get the camera on there. Uh, we were playing MVP 2004. Uh, we updated all the rosters. He was the Mets. I was the Red Sox. And what we did was we played a seven-game World Series. I knew that if at any point in those games it came to like the eighth or ninth inning and I was within two or three runs because I had David Ortiz and Manny Ramirez, I was going to either tie it or take the lead. Not a question. Looking at this Tigers roster, it's literally the same feeling I had back then wrong screen boom you get to a late inning and you have Cabrera and Fielder coming up I mean you pretty much setting yourself up for a win all right 
and my number one team obviously to use online is going to be the los angeles angels of anaheim great team name love it actually i hate it uh look jared weaver cj wilson both super nasty so if you're going to play a righty full team you got jared weaver lots of lefties hit him with cj wilson they won't know what hit him this dude's got five pitches all move in some sort of direction pretty sick Jared Weaver, one of the best pitchers in the game. Look at that. Four seam, two seam, slider, change, and a curveball. Dude's nasty. Did he throw a no-hitter last year? I think he did. Uh, let's see. Bullpen, whatever you do, don't bring in Jerome Williams. Uh, David Carpenter's pretty sweet. Scott Downs is a sick... Look at this. you got two elite lefty specialists in Scott Downs and Sean Burnett. Kevin Jepsum is sick. Look, five pitches... I'm telling you, if you have relief pitchers with five pitches coming in, you don't they don't stand a chance against you. Uh, Ernesto Frieri, look at that. Dude, I don't even know who this guy is, but I would give him the ball. Look at this. I would like to see what his speed is. Uh, they don't got that, right? Uh, they don't tell me how fast this fastball is. That'd be pretty sweet. Toggle after, oh wait, maybe they do. Uh, no, they don't. All right. Uh, yeah, give the ball to that guy. I mean, come on, Jared Weaver is probably going to go the complete game for you, but worst case scenario, you got some quality uh, relievers. Obviously, the reason the, the Angels are my number one team, well, look at this lineup. This is literally ri ridiculous. Three of your top four are 99s. Dude, I mean, I don't even have to explain this, because Mike Trout, 99, contact versus righties, killing them with a 95, speed's a 93. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't know if there's anybody in the game better than him. Uh, Albert Pujols has, like, some kind of terrible numbers for Albert Pujols with 84 and 83 contact, but still has that 93 power versus lefties. I mean, power versus righties only at 75. I'll tell you what, at 75, he's still going to hit a bunch of jacks with that. Josh Hamilton versus a right-handed pitcher, just consider the game over. Mark Trumbo is your DH. On a team where Mark Trumbo is your DH, I mean, you should be very happy with your team. Uh, middle infield's kind of whack. Howie Kendrick's good. Alberto Cayaspa, a little questionable. Uh, Chris Iannetta, I mean, I would put in Hank Honger just because I love his face. But that's just me. Bill Hall, they don't even have a real Bill Hall. That's pretty awesome for him. Vernon Wells is gone, so don't even worry about that guy. I mean, per Peter Burgos, look at this. 87 speed, 93 speed, 82 speed. I mean, you got some fast dudes on this team. All these guys, RBI machines. What's even sick, if you are facing right-handed pitching with a no DH, then you take out Alberto Cayaspo, and you put in Mark Trumbo at third? Look at this! This lineup is straight up legit! Peter Burgess is a 79, and he is probably should be better than that. Or actually, what you could do, if you like Alberto Cayaspo, is you take out Peter Burgess, move Trout to center, and put Trumbo in left. Uh, yeah. So, that's gonna do it. For my top five teams to use online on MLB 13 the show. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at that sports gamer. Get all the news and updates at thatsportsgamer.com. This post in particular you can find it under the code.com. Uh, they're doing some great stuff over there. You can follow them at under the code on Twitter. And uh, this was great. I hope to do a lot more of these and uh, I hope to talk to you again real soon.